Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. Rob is off tonight. We start tonight with the support being shown to the Tusky Valley High School community. After last night's crash on I-70, three students and three adults were killed on their way to an event in Columbus. The displays of support include TV strong shirts that are now in high demand. Tusky Valley grad Bryn McKin Mickley used her creative skills to design them. Absolutely. Just no questions asked. Absolutely. We need to do something to help the school. In Bolivar, a yoga studio on Canal Street started a GoFundMe that's raised more than $50,000 in just one day. And as News 5's Tessa DeTiro shows us now, a restaurant on that same street is using its food to provide some comfort. Inside the walls of this restaurant, it's all about community. And the food is really what brings people together. Now the Canal Street Diner in Boulevard is using its food to give back. It's a Greek American menu. We do a lot of business for having like 10 or 11 tables here. It's another busy night in the diner for manager Barbie Patterson. Oh, you're good, guys. You're good. Barbie and her staff are tight. Tuesday's tragedy was felt inside this dining room. We had a couple people that were on the bus that work here, you know, that they, some of them were supposed to work tonight. Of course, we gave them this week, the, the whole week, however long they need off. So that's how we're trying to help them. Canal Street Diner is one of several restaurants on the street doing what it does best, taking care of dinner. Someone just called for a to-go order as well, and I was able to give them a percentage off because they bought the dinner for the family. So blind closed down yesterday to feed the local families. We had Bolivar Pizza down the road. I know that they were helping with pizzas and stuff like that. So. Everyone's feeding the community and all the families. The restaurant says a portion of dine-in and carry-out orders Thursday and Friday will go directly to Tusky Valley Schools. We're all family here. We're all here to help each other through the toughest time. Lettuce hash browns. A warm meal, a scoop of ice cream, a slice of pie. Simple creature comforts bringing folks together around the table and then going a little bit further for a community who really needs it. To feed somebody is, is comforting. In Bolivar, Tessa D. Tiro, News 5. Of the six people killed in Tuesday's crash, three were adults in a car that was following the charter bus to Columbus. Shannon Wigfield and Christy Gaynor were chaperones on the trip, along with Tusky Valley math teacher Dave Kennett. Shannon also taught English at Buckeye Career Center. The center's superintendent spoke with us today. It's just a very difficult time. We're in a great community who I know will pull together, but certainly our thoughts and prayers are with uh, the parents and the families of those who have such a, suffered such a tragic loss. The three others killed in the crash were 15-year-old Caitlin Owens, 18-year-old John Mosley, and 18-year-old Jeffrey Worrell. All three students were at Tusky Valley High School and were on that bus when the crash happened. Earlier today, Governor Mike DeWine expressed his support and sympathy for the Tusky Valley community and encouraged others to do the same thing. The thing for us all to remember is that anybody who was on that bus, you know, has been traumatized and, and you know, we have to continue to keep them in our prayers, but also do everything that we, we can to uh, wrap that community, uh, wrap our arms around that, that community. Governor DeWine lost his daughter Becky in a tragic traffic accident 30 years ago. A team from the National Transportation Safety Board arrived at the scene of the crash today. They're getting an overview of the site. They're looking for cameras and other evidence from the five vehicles that were involved in that crash. Our focus is on safety. Uh, our whole mission is based on determining how this happened, uh, why this happened, and to prevent it from reoccurring. The head of the NTSB says there is conflicting information about the sequence of events that led to the crash. A preliminary report on the crash will be issued in about two to three weeks, but the entire investigation is expected to take anywhere between a year and 18 months. As the community continues to support each other and investigators look for answers, you can count on News 5 to follow through on the Tusky Valley tragedy, both on air and online.